Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk about what just happened in the Ben Whitaker versus Liam Cameron fight. This is going to be controversial. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Folks, this fight was up for grabs. This was a jump ball. It was rough and tumble. Understand, uh, even though Whitaker seemed to be the better athlete, he didn't know how to leverage his hand speed advantage. He was way too pocket centric here. And he's not defensively blessed. Take away the showboating and you have a guy who, quite frankly, is going to have problems in the pocket against a vet who knows what he's doing. Cameron is landing way too many right hands. Way too many. Understand, uh, Whitaker is leaning forward. In other words, Whitaker could not stay in the pocket without being hit. Now, Whitaker does find a path to success. His body attack starts landing shots. I thought the ref was unfair to him. At the time this fight ends, the ref actually has an outstanding warning to him that if he throws low again, he's going to get a point deducted. Right now, maybe it's me. Tell me your views in the comment section of this YouTube video, but I saw a lot of shots on the belt, just like I saw in the Daniel Dubois Usyk fight. I thought the shots were legal. Understand, though, this was a firefight. Whitaker was forced to go to the body because he had to find a way to keep Lee and Cameron off of him. Right? He's getting hit in the pocket by Cameron who missed the memo that said that he was supposed to be a big underdog in this fight. So, of course, folks, this fight was up in the air Whitaker was getting hit with some hard shots. Cameron was having success with both hands, but particularly his right hand. Whitaker starts throwing both hands to Cameron's body. And then we get the ending of the fight. Cameron comes forward. Cameron is having some success trying to bully Whitaker when he's not getting hit in the body. Whitaker's over by the ropes. Cameron goes over there. The top rope is too loose. Right? I don't know what else to say. The top rope is too loose. So, of course, the guys then fall over the top rope. I'll just say the fight was just getting interesting. Whitaker was being tested. Apart from throwing shots to the body, he didn't find that plan B that would give him a clear advantage. The Cameron people have to feel that their guy was on his way to possibly getting a stoppage later in the fight. Right, Particularly if the referee followed through on his threat and took a point away from Whitaker, who continued to throw body shots after the warning. Right? So this is going to be a controversial fight. Let's just say it's a jump ball fight. Calling it a draw does both men justice. Because quite frankly, how do I put this? While Cameron did better than expected, you have to count the body shots. And I thought some of them were legitimate by Ben Whitaker. Whitaker was holding his own even though he was not living up to expectations. What Whitaker is going to have to figure out before any rematch here with Cameron is what his plan B is to avoid getting hit in the pocket. Because he did not show a way to either block Cameron's shots or to move away and roll with them. Those are my views. Let me hear yours.
in the comment section of this YouTube video. Tell us how you had the fight scored at the time of the unfortunate event that led to its termination. Thanks for stopping by.